Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And sa episode na to, i-discuss natin kung ano nga ba talaga yung React and ang mga advantages kung bakit natin gagamitin yung React sa web development. So, let's go! So, what is React? So, lagi nyong tandaan, React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. So, meron talagang difference between a library and a framework which we will discuss later on the slide. So, it allows you to build reusable UI components, manage their state, and render them efficiently on the web page. So, that, that is basically React. So, a little bit of history. So, React was created by Jordan Walk, a software engineer at Facebook na ngayon itinatawag na Meta and he released it initially called as FaxJS. So, fun fact lang, nagsa-celebrate ngayon yung React uh, on its 10th year. So, its 10th year anniversary. So, yun lang. Uh, if you want to learn more about React, you can go to the official documentation ng React team which is yung react.dev. So, type nyo lang sa browser nyo and mapupunta kayo sa landing page na to. Next up, what is the difference of a library and the framework? So, yung library provides reusable function for our code and our code controls when and where to call a library. So, basically, as a developer, meron kang control kung kailan mo gagamitin or tatawagin ang isang library. So, the intent of a library is to provide reusable software functionality. Ano naman yung framework? So, framework provides ready-to-use tools. So, meron ka ng mga tools na pwede mo nang gamitin kahit hindi ka na mag-install ng mga third-party third party packages and libraries. You also have standards, templates, and policies for fast application development. And ang yung intent or purpose ng framework is to reduce the complexity of the software development process. So again, in framework or in using framework, meron ka ng standards, uh, templates, and policies na sinusunod. So some of the popular frameworks that we have are Vue and Angular. So pwede nyo pa silang i-research. And moving on, we also have the advantages of using React. So first, we have performance enhancement. Why? Because ginagamit ng React ang tinatawag na VDOM or Virtual DOM. So, it makes your web application faster. So, don't worry about that. We will talk about Virtual DOM on the upcoming episodes in this crash course. So, make sure na nakasubscribe kayo sa ating YouTube channel. Next is yung component-based architecture. So, as we all know, React is using this architecture para mas mabilis yung development process and mas mabilis yung web applications mo. The last one is they have a thriving community. What does it mean? It means that marami yung gumagamit ng React and mas madali kang makakahanap ng support or ng answers sa mga tanong mo once mas stuck ka sa isang problem in React. So as we all know, there is no perfect language, perfect library, perfect framework. So everything has a disadvantage. So it also depends on your own preference. So what are the disadvantages of using React? So it has a steep learning curve. Because you you will need to have or you will need to be proficient sa um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before ka maka proceed uh, into React. So the next one is complexity in large applications. Bakit complex? Kasi React is only a library, no? So as a developer, ikaw yung uh, bahala sa paggamit ng mga third-party libraries kung ano yung gagamitin mo. So sometimes those libraries can get outdated and it makes uh, the development process as slow because you will have to update naman yung mga ginawa mo previously na gumagana at hindi na gumagana ngayon. So, it makes the development process a little bit complex. The next one is the development pace. It's because uh, there are always updates uh, sa ating documentation sa paggamit ng React. So, keep in mind that React was uh, officially built or built towards single page applications but now they are moving into server side rendering so you can search more about that so that is one of the disadvantage of using react and moving on we have our stack overflow developer survey that went out on 2022 so as you can see we have the web frameworks and technologies so react has been dominating that for almost five years so you can see uh, a lot of developers really want and love react so if you want to know more about uh, the emerging technologies, the emerging web frameworks and um, libraries, so pwede kayong pumunta dito sa Stack Overflow Developer Survey. And lastly, we'll talk about the average salary. So how much does a React developer make in Manila? So the traje 
factory uh, of the pay is around 80,000 for developer with four to six years of experience. So it's not bad and it's actually a good pay na no, para sa isang uh, developer or React developer. And just to sum everything up in this introduction to React, um, I just want to say that React is a highly popular and a widely adopted uh, language or tool by developers due to its extensive ecosystem and community support. So it integrates well with other libraries and frameworks, kaya marami ang gumagamit nito. So make sure na nakafollow ka, nakasubscribe ka sa dev.co dito sa TikTok and also sa YouTube kasi mas marami pa tayong episodes na i-release and you will learn React in Tagalog in our channel. So maraming salamat and see you on the next video.